today I'm going to be showing you the best skills to get early and why you should be going for these skills. Now you may notice that I have more skills available than you on your screen. That is because I've already beat the game. This is New Game Plus. So I have additional skills that became available. Now for starters you really have three choices. This top one is not that good. Definitely not for starting. This is pretty damn good. It stuns them. It's better for going around gameplay and it's okay for bosses. This you hit them twice with a charged up on the boss and you completely get rid of their shield and that's even on hard mode. You really only have to hit them with two good charged attacks and their shield is basically done. Now we also have this one over here. So you're going to have to pick. You definitely want the shield for this category. And then you're going to be picking do you want one that does a little bit more damage to the singular target and stuns. And once you get it off you can heal. This will completely knock down as well as do damage. This is much better for boss fights giving you a lot of time to get off a safe heal when you need it or to put in extra quick damage by spamming a couple of those. So now ambush you can hold off on. You don't have to get this right away. The beta energy is pretty good but you don't have to go crazy with that either right away. Definitely be getting this within like your first 20 though. Uh, you do want to go a little bit on uh, you actually start with all these uh the rush is pretty good because you always want to close the gap and if that, especially when you get into boss fights uh you are going to need to close the gap so that is pretty nice you don't have to go in to the advanced ones right away but eventually definitely we'll be picking those up you don't really have to worry about area blow that's not really a big deal now for the most part you're going to need to be parrying a lot more than you're going to be dodging especially early in the game now late game you'll have a lot more bosses that are launching like special after special attack but for the most part you parry way more than you dodge so go into parry completely ignore the dodge you don't have to get into the counter to be honest you can only do it at the end if you try to do a counter on the first parry in a chain attack you're going to get clapped while you get it off so um, definitely not what you want to go for at first get the energy so when you parry you can use your other abilities at start now you do want um, the ability you're going to get blink making it easier to perfect parry making it easier to perfect dodge those are ones you do want to get um, double jump you get very late in the game that's just given to you you don't really need those to worry about that over there um, for reflection, you can get like a level one over here, eventually go crazy, especially if you're really good at dodging, you can take this chain early if you are going to dodge all those specials because it actually knocks down your enemy or boss with this at the end. So if you land this and then you land this, not only do you deal pretty good damage, but you knock them down, giving you more time to deal damage. Now, some of these categories you might not have yet. Tacky is pretty much given to you. You really don't want to be blocking. You want to time when you use your tacky ability, and then you're just going to melee for the entire duration. So, fill out this entire left category. Do not worry about the right. I mean, once you have to get all skills, when you got skills and you just can't place them anywhere, then you can go buy out the right category, but don't worry about that. Now for the burst. This one over here is excellent. I'm going to tell you why. Because not only does it take like a third to a half of their shield, depending on who, how much shield they have, but it also knocks them down. It also gives you a little chunk of life when it does. So this one is pretty decent, but the timer, even with a maxed out, uh, maxing it out is pretty low and it's pretty hard to get off and use very well in most boss fights because you're blocking more than you're attacking so you're only getting off a few hits 
very hard to use this very well. You just get it at the end of the game when you're buying everything. Now, this one over here, it's okay, but it's more for groups. So we do want one that we can use in general combat and bosses. And that is why your first one you should be doing burst. Because burst shines for crowd control and just going through the world. And it does damage, knocks down, and heals for bosses. So it only heals you a little bit. More importantly, it may, oh, I forgot the most important part. It actually makes you invulnerable to all damage for like five seconds. That's the real, real reason you want burst. So when you got that massive AOE or the one attack that you really aren't dodging well and that shit's going to kill you, this shit saves you, knocks them down, lets you get a heal off if you need it, or lets you put in more damage and gives you a little bit of life back. So burst 100% should be your starting one. Now, um, over here, I think that is actually all the categories that uh, for things to get at the start. Survival, um, you can definitely be picking up things that make easier early. Th those are definitely good. But yeah, that's basically the best skills to get early and what you can leave till the end of time because it's really not benefiting you. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.